very good. I mean, I've heard that a lot worse, believe me. I've also played it a lot worse, probably. Um, a few things. You, what I like is that you're playing with a quite an open hand position. The hand is the most under, underused and underrated uh, tool we have. You can do so much, because if you go, if you go, well, here we go. Hold on. That doesn't really work, but... What they can see what I'm doing here is I'm just opening that up for the bottom. You were doing that already quite quite well. You could these little notes, da da da. When you go down, go da 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 da. Try opening up just a little bit more. I'm going to listen from here. Okay, I hear it is a little bit bum bum. And also the bum bum, Mahler would have loved that, and Bruckner would have loved that too. But it's not very Beethoven-y, yeah? It's a little bit huge. It should be loud, but, but it, it depends on what your first one is doing. If your first one's playing it like that, then I guess you've got to play it like that. But the conductor won't let that happen for very long. <laughs> Okay, and there is a crescendo. Can you two just play it together? Yeah. Or play all three of you, why not? <laughs> okay, okay, it's, it, it immediately becomes becomes just part of a, of a section. Um, but you have to play it on your own in an audition, and that's a bit of a pain. And um, when I was, I used to play at the opera before I was in this orchestra, and Barenboim was, was my boss, and he terrified, because he'd go, Sarah, no, I want it da 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 And he would really sort of say, I want it like this. And he loved those two notes. And so you hear these two notes so rarely, and just, just now it was hard to hear it. So even when you're playing it on your own, you want to show, I know that these two notes need to be brought up. da 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 Okay, once more, with, the, with everything, no, without you guys, with the crescendo, there is a crescendo. Okay? Okay, and also, it's, it's a little bit, I hear... It, there, there are staccato, there's staccato, but there's nothing on that, but it, it, tradition, it, it's not... That's a little bit sort of do 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 do. Yeah, make it a little a little bit shorter, and also the more the, the take more care about the sound because it, it it it's very easy to make it sound. A little bit really sort of. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Okay, another rhythm. I'm being really picky here because you're good and it's worth being picky with, but these are the things that might lose you an audition if one little rhythm is not right, because everyone in the, in the panel is sitting there. Oh, the guy's got no rhythm, you know? It's brutal, it's a brutal world out there, and you guys have to be the best. That means perfect rhythm amongst three million other things. <laughs> Okay, can you manage to get that da 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 Practice it a little bit, a little bit uh, slower. Are you using single tongue or double? Yeah, me too. Slowly, it's really hard. Try it once. Just try da 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 da. Yeah, and if you practice it in various stages of getting faster. Um, that it's, it, it helps. Yeah. yeah. Okay, should we take that once more, all of you, all together? So basically, the rule of Beethoven 3 is know what's going on, make sure you hear that while you play it and keep that rhythm going. 
I think as a low horn player to open up the hand as you go down, um, those little notes are really important and make it make a beautiful sound and do what the first horn does or not. But <laughs> try <laughs> um, in the orchestra, but in an audition, make sure you're hearing, hearing the others. Yeah? Otherwise, it's easy. Okay, good, good.